Ciao ragazzi and here is another video with Lempis. So if you're new here, I'm a new mom. My daughter is four weeks old and I have been exclusively pumping up to now. In this video, I'm going to talk about my pumping routine, what supplements am I taking to increase milk production, how did I increase my milk production. At the moment, I'm pumping 1,200 ml of milk per day. And it has not always been like that. When I started, it was, um, let me say, about 200 per day. And I was extremely worried when I discovered that I could not really, it was not working out for me, breastfeeding, like directly to give the breast to the baby was not working out for me. I was freaking out and I have had that, oh my goodness, you're not going to be able to produce enough milk and you're probably going to stop producing milk very soon. What am I taking at the moment that allowed me to, to pump 1,200 ml? And I have to say 1,200 ml for me is a lot and enough. My baby at the moment is not even taking that much, it's taking I'm not quite sure how much, let me say about a hundred, about 600 ml. So I have, um, I feed about six times a day and each portion is about a hundred. And then I have always like about a 400 ml left over. And that is according to my um, storage portion about two portion because each bag, I mean, in each storage portion, I use uh, a maximum 200 ml. Like at the moment, I have one freezer compartment just full of milk, and we need more compartments because I'm still really producing enough milk, and I want to make. I don't want to waste to waste that. I don't want to throw that away just in case anything happens. Because it's only a month since I gave birth, so in case I'm just thinking, in case anything happens, I still have like reserves in the freezer that I can give to the baby this nutritious milk that I've produced. Let's start with um, what am I taking at the moment or what happened between producing 200 ml a day to 1200 ml a day. I have to be honest with you at the moment I'm not taking any supplement. I just focus at the moment I'm eating oats you know like just all traditional oats I guess add water in the microwave five minutes everything nice and soft and then add yogurt or sometimes also a little bit of butter just for for taste of salt and pepper and it's fine that's what i'm eating at the moment every single day and i read that oats meal is actually one of uh, you can either have it as flour or just normal oats one of the things ingredient that really increase milk production at the time and i have to be honest i saw a difference oats oats Second thing I'm taking apart from that is malt. I think it's called malt of English. And one last thing which was for me a game changer, enough hydration. At the moment I have, I start with three liters, which is basically every time I prepare tea with two times a day in the morning, 1.5 liter of tea. That's like three of my 500 ml cups. And then also later after lunch when we have just like, um, maybe an afternoon tea 1.5 and in between i also take i would say half a liter every time i'm pumping so i set the minimum for myself as three and i don't have any maximum i can go up to five depending on how this day i feel because i feel like when i produce more milk especially when i have to pump during the night then i also feel thirsty so i make sure that every time i'm pumping i have also 500 ml of it can be water or it can be also unsweetened tea I'm I'm here. So let's talk about my pumping schedule. I, when I started, I was pumping like uh, maybe whenever I feel like the breasts are full, then I would pump, or just the schedule was not that uh, irregular and I was not consistent. I would just like sleep, and then whenever I wake up. I pump and that's when I was producing like um, 200 ml 
of milk per day. That was too little. And I was really in panic because I was like, what if I won't be able to produce breast milk and give my baby all this nutrient, antibody and everything that comes with that. I was in panic. At the moment, I'm feeding my daughter exclusively with breast milk. I moved from pumping on no schedule, you know, I don't know, whenever I was feeling like pumping to really developing a solid schedule. Now I pump, I would say about six to seven times a day. I pump, um, I start at 12 a.m., beginning of like a new day, 12 a.m., then I have 4 a.m., then I have the next session at 8, then I have 12, then I have 4, and eight so i have an interval of four hours if i have something to do i will pump somewhere between three and four hours so let me say if i have to go to an appointment somewhere around 12 i will probably pump at 11 30 or somewhere around 11 so i try to keep it between minimal three hours and maximum four hours like i never want to go beyond four hours i try to stay within my schedule like in how much i've pumped babe, total like i have notes on my phone of how much i've pumped per day and how much i have actually pumped each time each pumping session and it works very well so every time i pump somewhere between uh 210 when everything is fine or sometimes 225 and then after lunch when i'm really tired exhausted if i don't take a nap and i don't rest and then i pump minimal 155 or 150 around there so far that is working very well and since i have developed a consist like a very regular schedule i've seen that the milk production is no longer like if I if there's a day that maybe I did not drink enough water or I was stressed about something, minimal about 900 minimal milk production, and on good days it's always between honestly a liter to a liter to 100 uh, 1.2 liters, and I'm so happy about that. Every time I'm pumping, I pump minimal 15 minutes if i'm really really tired like after lunch i do not produce a lot of milk that's when i really have like 160 150 or 180 and then in the morning and in the evening that's when i have 200 220 very well so in the morning and at times when i produce more milk i pump around 20 minutes and after lunch i usually just pump 15 minutes and i've heard that i should not pump less than that so I try to give it always minimal 15 minutes, maximum 20, because I feel like if I pump longer than 20, then I'll start, my nipples start hurting and it's just not, breast tissues are probably getting damaged because I'm overworking my, my tissues. I'm using a Medela pump in, advanced pump in style. I'll just leave the video where I shared the pump up here. This is the one that I'm using at the moment. It's actually very nice. You need schedule you need to be very regular you need to start first pumping like i would say every three to four hours make sure you're always hydrated drink as much water as possible oh, make sure that you also just work towards eating foods that you know that they produce or they stimulate milk production um another tip that i'll add that i have also changed like i feel like it has improved my breast milk production is when I started pumping and when I was producing less milk I had an alarm like I would always just say Ta, I put on an alarm during the night I wake up I pump I'm not doing that anymore although I still have kind of an alarm I put this towards the times when I know that the baby is waking up so it's, it's more like of a natural process I wake up then I have to just know like change the baby, put the baby back to sleep and feed the baby, like with a bottle. And then after that, 15 minutes pumping. So it's just more natural. Otherwise, the other way around, I was more stressed between, oh, the alarm is on now, then I'm up, I'm pumping, and then I try to go back to sleep, and 30 minutes later, the baby's awake. There was a little bit, so much stress, and I think that's just, not, just counterproductive. This is where we're at, and this is what I'm doing. 
and so far so good it's just four weeks now but i'm hoping that's going to work better and it's going to work to be like this until the end of breastfeeding i will probably do a couple more videos about uh, what pump am i using um what why am i not breastfeeding and also what else just all the essential that are really important if you want to or stick to exclusive pumping that is it if you enjoyed this video give us a like subscribe to our channel and see you in our next video i have to go check on the baby how are we doing